Well, welcome to another online worship experience with the community of faith of Alamance Lutheran Church. Hi, I'm Pastor Ron Philibon. Many of us have received an invitation to a birthday party or a special event. But in the church, invited and inviting, that is the nature of the church. By God's grace and holy baptism, we have a place at Christ's banquet table, when by the power of that same spirit, humility and mutual love continue among us. The church can be more inviting still. So let me invite you to come along as we worship and learn and grow together. Come on along. Ready, Jack? Well, this has been a very busy week for you, I'm sure, and also for me. But I'm hoping that you came here today to quiet all the things that have kept you anxious and all that you have, well, you still have to get done for next week. Maybe it's for school or what have you. So let's take a moment, take a deep breath in, let it out slowly. As we come before God asking for a blessing upon our ears to hear and our souls to receive a word from the Holy Spirit in this message today. As the body of Christ, let us bow our heads in prayer. Lord, quiet all the noise that is inside and around us as we come before you asking that this message will encourage us to share it with others throughout the week ahead. Amen. Well, have you ever attended an event and someone approaches you and tells you that you are in their seat? Often it is a common mistake that we have sat in the wrong seat. Then there are other occasions when people just plop in an empty seat to get a better view from the seat that they had paid for. Recently, Esther and I uh, attended the James Taylor and his all-star band concert in Raleigh, North Carolina. Our seats were so high up at the PNC Arena, I think we could hear the angels in heaven playing their harps. Well, before the concert started, the best seats were blocked off along the balcony, and the ushers were having a devil of a time keeping folks from sneaking in and setting down in those restricted seats. We heard one couple trying to make the argument that if no one else is sitting there, why can't we? Well, the usher repeatedly replied, because, sir, you did not pay for, to sit there, and these seats have been blocked off for a reason so that all the others behind can see the show. The only place that front row seats are not blocked off is in a church. So feel free to come forward if you want to get a close up view. Getting the best seats in the house is not reserved for sporting or music events anywhere you go. Folks are trying to one-up one another by claiming the best seats that they may not have an invitation to claim. I visited a church once and was approached by a man who asked me to move because his family had donated that pew. Their name was on it, and this was his seat. Unfortunately, even in the church, this happens more than you may think. Our gospel reading gives us much to consider between shame and honor. You see, honor is not gained by taking a place of prominence for ourselves. It must be given by others. Jesus speaks from the position, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Remember that? The word for honor in our gospel is doxa, which is usually translated glory. 
one needs to be careful in their pursuit because glory only belongs to God and can only be given by God. As Christians, you see, this is an important rule for us to follow. Instead of following as our selfish heart's desires. You may remember back in 1980, Mac Davis wrote a, a song that speaks to those who always want the front row seat, always seizing the glory all for themselves because they think they are pretty darn special. His song was hard to be humble. Oh Lord, it's hard to be humble when you're perfect in every way. I can't wait to look in the mirror because I get better looking each day. Well, I can remember, oh, way back then, singing along to that song and laughing at the lyrics with my friends. Yet as Christians, what are we really saying when we maneuver for that front row seat that really isn't ours to take. There is such a thing as people watching, you know, and people are watching us. The comedian Lily Tomlin once said, you know the trouble with the rat race is that even if you win, you're still a rat. And in verse 11, Jesus puts it this way, all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. At his table, the first are last, and the last first. A hundred years ago, Ralph Waldo Emerson noted three qualities he felt were marks of true success. First one is the ability to discern and appreciate beauty. Second is the ability to see the best in others. And the third is a commitment to leaving the world a better place. Notice that Emerson does not say that success comes in having the best seat at the table, acquiring more material possessions, or in belonging to the best of anything. Emerson argues that the success comes with appreciating God's world, developing long relationships with God's people, and with working to improve God's world. I believe that Jesus would agree with Emerson. In fact, our gospel reading ends with a wonderful suggestion of how to work to make the world a better place. Invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind to dinner. They are all members of your family. Just think how much richer your table talk will be if you don't just associate with only your close friends or relatives or the kind of people who make you feel comfortable. We see throughout scripture where meals were a time of celebration and inclusive fellowship for Jesus. God looks to see that we have practiced the generosity and inclusiveness of the kingdom in our daily social relationships. One standard offers the reward of achieving a social position. The other, the reward of God's favor. In a few months, we will be inviting people from the public that we don't know, and they don't know us, but they will know who you are by how hospitable and how inviting we all are with them. Remember, around the table, such wonderful things happen. Invite everyone to the table. They are all members of the extended family. We will be developing an easy to follow map with all the exhibits of our festival and an invitation that tells them about who we are as a community of faith. You are part of inviting others to have the best seat of the table when you take the last seat. Amen.